Frank Kirby's gonna get a hat trick with Frank Kirby. Here. Have you ever had like a celebration where you sound like a manager? Yeah. <laughs> This is a little pressure on you because you're the home nation of the World Cup. That's so. true. Yeah. Right. Let's see. Frank Kirby's going on the bench. <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> no I'll, I'll, I'll leave you on. I'm trying oh, to think if there's, if there's anyone I want to give a chance to. Do you know what? I do quite like this. I'll give. I'll put Tony Duggan on. Where could I? Mm, where? Who could I take? And then could Tony stay there? Tony, Tony's good there, yeah. Okay. Left winger. <clears throat> I'll leave Tony on the wing. Yeah. Right, this this should be fairly even even match. Yeah, yeah. Right, I need to score. I need to score a goal yet to score. I actually find these drills really fun. Like I, yeah. I can play these drills. I don't all know day. what this one is. What is it? Oh, have I got to get the Lavage. Okay. Right, well, yeah, we'll just play. Yeah. <laughs> oh, PSG oh. Stadium. Oh. <laughs> oh. Have you have you been to France before? Yeah. Yeah. What for football or? Um, we did uh, part of our pre-season. Um, not last year, the year before with Chelsea, we played PSG in a friendly. Um. <coughs> like, like for me one of the best things about football is travelling getting to see new places mm -hmm. what's been sort of the best place that you've visited through football um, it's been so many different Actually, places yeah, you've that probably been to more than me <laughs> um, the, thing, the thing is is you don't I, th I see it more as um I get to go to places that I never thought I would go to just normally. Yeah. You know, like we went to Montenegro um, wow. for a qualifier and it was absolutely beautiful and I never would ever have said I will go to Montenegro on holiday, you know? Yeah. So going there and seeing how beautiful it actually was, was actually really nice for me to see. Um... um <laughs> conceded another goal um, but Qatar was really cool because I yep. never thought that I would end up going to Qatar um, um, yeah it's been it's been so there's been some really interesting places also um, to go to you know like Bosnia I never thought I'd go to a place like Bosnia but it was really nice like all the mountains and everything was really cool um, and just seeing how other people live you know as well like yeah different cultures um yeah do you collect any souvenirs when you go to these I places i collect fridge magnets yeah yeah that's cool do you know what? buy I them from the airport that. when i when we were on the way back that's nice actually yeah so it's quite cool got a little collection going on now because my mum used to do it every time we went on holiday always wow. used to collect fridge magnets so in thing is now fridges nowadays they're not like not the old fridges you know the <laughs> ones that you could stick magnets on like it's all it's all now wood and it's all blended into <laughs> everything so it doesn't stick so i just have to keep them um collected everywhere but yeah i was looking at all your all your trophies there looks pretty good yeah it's, i found myself a nice uh um little mantle yeah piece, yeah and that looks good yeah what's been your your favorite one today my favourite one. Um, that trophy looks nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'd probably say, yeah, either the PFA one or the Chelsea players player. It's just because obviously it was voted by my teammates. Um, and then obviously the PFA one is the players who you play against week in, week yeah. out, you know. So it just shows that mutual respect from all parties, really. Um, did, you, did you ever imagine that you'd be a full-time footballer playing for Chelsea, representing England. Is it sometimes a bit surreal or is it something you sort of just get used to? I think you get used to it after a while, but I still think, you know, growing up, if someone had said to me that you're going to be a professional, female professional footballer and you're going to go and travel the world and you're going to play for England in front of all these big crowds, I probably wouldn't have believed you. Um, 
I always knew I wanted to play football. Um, I just never knew what level I could get to with it. Um, no, it's, it's amazing. Like, to think you've played now at Wembley FA Cup final, like, what was, what was that like? That was really cool. I had a really good feeling the whole day. It's funny, as footballers, you're, you kind of get a feeling of how you think the day is going to go. Yeah. And I think everyone that day, probably bar two or three, <laughs> um, felt really confident going into that game. I just felt like we knew that there was no way we were going to let this get away from us, you know? Big occasion. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really cool actually playing in front of that many people at Wembley and, you know, being able to win obviously makes the whole experience so much better. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of stairs to walk up when you go and collect that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> collect the medals. So Especially after a game of football. Oh, what oh. a goal. What a goal. Like when, so obviously when I was younger, I, I always knew I wanted to be a winger. So I'd mm -hmm. always go to the park, practice crossing. Yeah. Were you one of those players that was always practicing sort of like shooting or, because your ball manipulation is really good as a player. Was that something you focused on? What was like your sort of focus to practice? Um, I think it was a bit of both really. I remember me and my brother used to just go out in the garden every day after school and play, put the jumpers down and just, you know, shoot against each other. One of us would go and goal and then we'd change every now and then. Um, and then we'd also do 1v1s on the road. Yeah. So it was kind of a bit of both. It was, we played nutmeg game. Did so you? a bit like what people do now, you know, when people just go around nutmegging each other, but we just used to go out and on the street and just play 1v1 against each other and who could get the most nutmegs wins. Wow, I'm expecting um, to see some nutmegs in the World Cup now. But <laughs> there was actually a game called Kirby. Did yeah. You play that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kirby. I was rubbish at it. <laughs> I'm, I'm small though, so I have to, when I throw the ball, I have to kind of loop it, you know, whereas not, like taller people <laughs> yeah. just have to throw it down. I kind of have to do, you know, the whole basketball kind of. <laughs> and basketball is not really a sport for me. Shame you weren't good at Kirby. That <laughs> I know. I think I actually did some filming once with Millie Bright and she absolutely destroyed me. Really? With it. Yeah, I don't think, I think I maybe hit it once. <laughs> I was like, okay, this is not good. They did not name this game after me. <laughs> I was going to say, they might have named the game after you, but now you've <laughs> told me that, I'm not sure. Right, I really want to score. I just want to score a goal. That's all I want, especially with an England kit because you might know what it feels like to score for England. <laughs> Oh, why did you leave it? Oh, oh. there you go. Great defending by me. <laughs> right, this is my chance. This is it. Nice little through ball. Yeah. Curb. Oh, what a save. Yeah, I need to score with Frank Kirby. Right, this is my chance. Yeah, should definitely score from a corner. <laughs> Got the height advantage Have you in ever there. scored from a corner? Um, I think I've scored maybe like on the rebound, you know. Okay. But never as in like I've won the ball first. Which is really unsurprising, obviously. You know, <laughs> like my aerial threat is quite large. Right, I need to... Sc I mean, I will, now I want to score a, like, a header with you or something. <laughs> After today, I know that I need to practice my FIFA. <laughs> Right. I honestly haven't played this, probably since I played you last. Really? Yeah. The thing is, once I get going, I kind of, I don't want to stop until I've won, and that can sometimes take a <laughs> while, so. It's going to be here all night then. Yeah. <laughs> Need to get to Sheffield tomorrow. <laughs> Conti Cup final. Right. Hold on. I'm going to get a goal. It's going to happen. If you score one goal, then you win overall. <laughs> yes. Oh. It's like next goal wins. You remember <laughs> that one? <laughs> Here we are, free kick. Okay. Steph Horton, free kick taker. Yeah, yeah, she's good. Uh, scored for England. All right, let's see. If... Oh. Good wall. Solid wall. Come on, Steph. What kind of captain is Steph? <gasps> oh. Oh. Um, oh, that was me as well. <laughs> um, yeah, 
yeah, I think... Um, like quite a vocal captain? Uh, when she has to be, she is, yeah. yeah. Um, she... Um, oh, sorry. Oh. That wasn't bad. <laughs> um, she, yeah, she's vocal if she has to be, but she's quite chill and relaxed as in like... She just wants to make sure that everyone's kind of in a good place going into games and things like that. She's a good leader to have. She's a good presence to have around, yeah. you know. She, um... <gasps> oh! I actually thought that went in. You celebrate before you even... I know. Oh, wait, you are celebrating. <laughs> what? It... Hold on. <laughs> wait, I just scored with you. No. It looked like it went in the side netting. It didn't go in. <laughs> Let's see. What? Oh, my God. What a goal. You broke, broke, the, broke the net, <laughs> that's broke. why. I fully broke the net. What? Yeah. Do you know what? That was a great goal. Thanks for that. Frank Kirby's on fire. Wow. <laughs> didn't even realise I scored. Well, I, 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 I didn't of, even realise either. I'm one of those people I start celebrating before I even know if it's, been, if it's a goal. Game on, 2-1. I could. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? I feel like I'm quite good with England. Maybe Phil Neville needs to give me a call up. <laughs> oh. Right. See, now I'm like fully in concentration mode. Yeah. Like now. <gasps> oh. As I said that, obviously I've conceded a goal. 3-1 <laughs> to France. This would never happen, though, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I did. The thing is, I lost concentration myself, and I yeah. felt like it kind of reflected <laughs> on the game. Right, this is... I feel like another goal's coming. You just lost me the ball. <laughs> Have you sort of, like, over the years change positions or mainly sort of um, stuck to one? Well, I actually, obviously I started off as actually going in goal, a bit of mix. What? So I was in goal. No, I didn't even know that. <laughs> goal, striker, forward kind of thing. And then I went as a winger. Um, and then I kind of went as a 10 and then went straight up to a 9. But then obviously for England and Chelsea now, I kind of play two different positions. So at England, I play more of the 10 role and Chelsea more of the nine. But I just like to play wherever I get the ball, really. Yeah. I don't really Ten, care. 10's well. quite creative, so yeah. it's behind the striker. Oh, I thought, I thought that was going to be another goal there. <laughs> so with, with Chelsea, so you're full-time professional training every day? Mm hmm Any like double like once a day or any double sessions? Um It depends really on the week. We don't do double pitch sessions, but we do maybe a session outside and then a gym session, um, or just a longer outside session. Uh it just depends on the week really, because obviously at the moment we've had normally it's been three games in a week, so it's been quite intense, so it's quite hard to fit in more than one session um but yeah it can it can range like i was just thinking so in real life if i've lost the game i'm sulking sometimes three days <laughs> no <laughs> what, you can't uh, do that <laughs> what are you like do you do you just sort of move on quite quickly and just get on with it um no i think i've I seen think... you sulk like straight after a game <laughs> yeah yeah i'm quite moody after yeah. a game um if we lose because I'm really passionate about winning and about doing well and um but you kind of have to get over it because the games come so fast yeah so it's hard obviously if you lose a big game you know then it's it's more difficult than any anything else um when we lost in the euros uh it took me quite a few probably a few weeks to actually get over that um properly yeah um that was tough yeah but um, but normally, you know, you kind of have to get over it the next day because you have to go in and focus on the next game, so. I'll have to take some tips from there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just super competitive sometimes. 
depends depends on how you lose. I feel like sometimes, yeah. Sometimes yeah, just got to sort of brush it off and then get get on with the next game really. Especially when you have so so many big games in the space of a few days, you know, it's it's hard. You can't mope around the game that you just lost previously. Oh, um, I wasn't like I didn't. I need to play the throw in there. Right. <laughs> You've played quite well in this game, I feel like. Thanks. Oh, that's rubbish. <coughs> ah. <laughs> I just can't let you score more than more than three in a game. <laughs> I think that's a battering, really. No. Great defending from me there. <laughs> right. This is, this is going to be the one. I've said that quite a few times, but I've, I'm feeling it. You're getting closer now to the TV as well? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That's a foul. <laughs> oh. No, not in this one. Look, she's injured still. You've injured her. Who... Becoming a bit transitional now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She's injured. Lovely oh, bit of skill out. from me. Lovely bit of skill. Until I gave the ball away. Before <laughs> that. I feel like oh. I could have okay. done the co-commentary for this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Oh. Winner. Been well and truly defeated. <laughs> Come back stronger. Can't, Come be, back can't be sulking no, three days after this. No, don't around about this one. No, you need to get, get over on it. quickly. <laughs> Pick myself back up. Go again. <laughs> well, Fran, it was safe to say you were the much better FIFA player. I can't let you leave your own house empty-handed. <laughs> so... I'm going to give you the Man of the Match Award. Play of the match. Here's your trophy. Thank you very much. Till next time. <laughs> <laughs> it actually turns on as well. <laughs> Does it? Yeah, it's probably broken now. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I actually got it in Greek. <laughs>